Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema, N'Golo Conte, and Riyad Mahrez. These are all newly added players to the ever-growing roster of the Saudi Pro League. But what exactly is the Saudi Pro League? Founded in 1976, the Saudi Pro League is the top division of association football in the Saudi Arabian system. The best annual football league in Saudi Arabia. Just like every other footballing nation, Saudi Arabia has its own footballing pyramid of promotions and relegations, with the Saudi Pro League being the top of that pyramid, holding the best teams in the land, currently housing 16 teams that compete against each other every year. But the league plans to extend that number to 18 come 2024. Saudi Arabia are on a mission to entice the world's best talents to make the Pro League their home. It is important to know that the Saudi Pro League hasn't just emerged from out of nowhere. With the likes of Jorge Negalo and Matheus Pereira all making a move that will change their lives and that of their families forever. So what has inspired Saudi Arabia to suddenly ramp up their investments in football? Saudi Arabia and its de facto leader, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, have big plans. As a nation, its wealth had been rooted in oil with petroleum of final resources and the world slowly moving towards green energy. Saudi Arabia decided to diversify its economy. In 2016, the MBS laid out a new direction for the kingdom, and labelled Vision 2030 as part of the trillion dollar plan. Saudi Arabia will develop public service sectors including health, recreation and tourism and become a global investment powerhouse. It will also serve to regenerate Saudi Arabia's tarnished image on the world after years of scrutiny and sanctions. Over the last two years, two major events have set the stage for the events we're witnessing this summer. First in October of 2021, a group headed by the PIF completed the purchase of Newcastle United, entering Saudi Arabia into the game of state-run clubs. Then in January of this year, Cristiano Ronaldo accepted a sensational offer from Al Nassar in Riyadh with 200 million euros a year. The deal comfortably made the 37-year-old the highest earner in football once more, showing the world what exactly to expect from the SPL. But perhaps the most intriguing part of the PIF strategy is their most recent majority purchase of the four major Saudi clubs, Al Hilal, Al Hali, Al Etihad and Al Nassar. It leads almost a quarter of the division under single ownership with access to immense financial resources. The Saudi Arabian Press Agency reports that the move to privatization will accelerate the progress in a variety of sports across the kingdom in line with Vision 2030. While the PIF have said that the change will unleash various commercial opportunities for the SPL, Cristiano Ronaldo was evidence of that strategy in motion. The arrival of the Portuguese megastar has attracted several overseas broadcasters to the SPL. It means that the vision is expecting to generate $480 million a year in revenue by 2030 from 120 mil, while the league overall value is expected to almost triple to 2.14 billion dollars in that time too. But all this growth doesn't come without its problems, with eyeballs being raised at the nation's human rights issues and its outlook in the LGBTQ community as well as women. The Amnesties International in particular criticised FIFA for granting the hosting rights of the 2023 Club World Cup to Saudi Arabia. Despite the critics, Saudi officials consistently reject the view linking their extensive investment into sports to the Vision 2030. Saudi Arabia's transformation under Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is reshaping a country's domestic and international landscape. Football has ascended to a pivotal role in Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plans, acting as a catalyst for economic diversification, societal transformation and global recognition. Whilst it is yet uncertain whether or not Cristiano Ronaldo's prediction about the Saudi Pro League reaching top 5 league status in the nearest future will materialise, with their most recent bid on Mbappe, one thing is certain, the Saudi Arabia is taking the football world by storm and they do not plan on slowing down anytime soon.